Good morning everyone. Blue and I are down by the river today. It's been very flooded so the river is enormous compared to last time I was here. But we're doing some noticing today. Noticing is a hugely important skill in mathematics and uh, here we go as Blue just, oh Blue's just added to my noticing. So the first thing I was noticing here was it looks like I've drawn these but these are the footprints of, I'm guessing, quite a large bird. I don't know if you can see, if I put my hand down, you can see that actually, sorry, you got my shadow as well, but um, they're, lar they're much larger than I'd expect. And we've also got a footprint there. Now there's Blue's footprint. So if you compare that, so let's just do some noticing here. Keep it really simple. So what do they see that is different? What do they see that is the same? describing these straight edges here, straight lines rather. And then we've also got perhaps something that kind of reminds us of part of a triangle. What would they call this? We maybe thought, think about our subitizing as three parts. Here is another kind of animal. I don't know if that's, it looks like it might be two footprints I'm thinking, um, but we've got four parts there and four parts there. There's another set of footprints there. I think that's blues from earlier, much bigger. So some animals bring their back legs to touch where their front legs were, so you might get prints like that. Then I noticed that where the water has been, we've got these beautiful curvy patterns here, which you'll often see on a, on a beach by the sea. And I'm obviously here at a beach by a river. Children learning that it's water that causes this. Look at these beautiful patterns here. You know, all that talk we had on the other videos about talking about what's straight, what's curved, what's soft, what's smooth. And looking at the, the stones, how will the children describe those? What are they interested in noticing? So very short, very simple. And um, just moving along here, I think these are mainly blues footprints, but oh, actually just spotted some more. So are they the same as the ones before or are they different? And if I look at the size comparison, you know, do these remind us of the size before? Are they likely to be made by a bird compared to Blue's feet here? So enjoy looking. This is Karen Wilding, uh, early years maths consultant and uh, generally being outside enthusiast. 